Welcome back to our channel, Know the City. Our aim is to make you fall in love with the cities before you even visit them. Last week we talked about the people of Langa, the famous people in Langa, things to do in Langa, the Kosa tradition that you find in Langa. Today we said we're going to continue with the things that you can do in Langa that we didn't have time to explore last week. Langa is full of history. There's a couple of uh, paintings which are around the neighborhood. There's markings that are put on the walls, history that is written on the walls around in the streets. Check them out. Here's some of the history that is put uh, to the public right in the streets. The other place to visit in Langa is Langa Museum. They call it Old Pass Court or Old Langa Heritage Dome Pass. The museum is an old courtroom that was used to persecute the black people during apartheid. Before independence, South Africa had a system which was called apartheid. It's a system or institute of racial segregation where they divided people according to their race and according to their tribe. They then have a system that is called pass laws, where it was a form of internal passport system where you can't move from one place to another place without showing that passport. The internal passport system was designed to segregate the population, to manage urbanization and allocate the migrant labor so that they would be called native laws. The past document used to enforce these laws was called dumb pass in Afrikaans, which means stupid pass or dumb pass. So in Langa, they collected all the information, the posters and photographs of apartheid eras are still existing, and the original checkpoints of dumb passes are still existing in this museum. So it's something not to miss because it holds all the history of South Africa in, in this museum. That court is still standing today, so when you visit Langa, this is a place to visit and see the history. All the dome pass that was used in the 1950s is still existing today in this museum. The other place that we left out uh, also that we speak this week is Guga Stebe Arts and Cultural Center. It's brightly colored building and is dedicated to empower the people of Langa and improve their socio-economical situation where the young people bring and showcase all their art to the world. There's places where people showcase their art. There's places where they do the painting. There's also an amphitheater for people who can do drama that sits nearly 200 people. Here's one young lady that we met was selling a fantastic, fantastic art. Let's see her out. Um, I'm presenting Odon's art painting, same painting. So what Odon does, he goes to our beaches in Cape Town, like how a God Bay collects the sand and colors it with the acrylic paint. So that's why you see we have different colors over here. So Odon, what he does, he first sketches the subject, put a layer of glue on top, and then it depending on the subject, for bigger ones like this one and this one, use the tea strainer and for the smaller ones like these and these use these fingers to sprinkle the sand around and for the final tutorial you just does with the fine tip brush that's all i don't let this technique when he was a younger boy from his uncle he's originally from angola so now he does this for a living like it's his job and all that what you see over here these pieces are very unique but don't doesn't repeat what he does so next time when you come back you're gonna find something different and unique 
Thank you so much. Oh, we've been stuck here for quite some time. Yo, wow. Yeah, what a lesson and everything that you've learned from Langa. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that next week, next week, we're going to pump it up a little bit higher. We are going to talk about strawberry picking, strawberry picking. Let's go eat some strawberries. So thank you so much for your support. Bye.